Ladies and gentlemen, welcome home. This is Alaska DE here once again, bringing you another episode of Understanding Spawns. Probably one of my favorite series that I have got going for all of us here. We are on Sin Crossing still. We are going over the C flag. I had published the B flag video a while ago, and the A flag video is hosted on Pixel Only. I will provide links to those in the description. And you just saw the number one reason why you do not all stand behind each other when you're looking through a doorway. Someone with an AK can come by and destroy you. So real quick, we're going to go over some few things about the C flag. First off, the cap radius or the burn area as some people on PC call it. It is this entire platform except for it right here. You can, you can see I'm standing here on it and then behind me I go off of it. Showing you the two arches. You can actually cap from inside that arch. You cannot cap from death stairs. There is a spawn right there in death stairs. So you see as we go on to the flag, there are two spawns in the garage right there and there. There is a spawn in that corner, high priority one, and there are multiple spawns in the second story of this building right here. This is a little area, non capable area, but a, yeah, yeah, a nice little area to hide for getting shot at. My favorite place to cap from would be right here, because there's two spawns in front of me. Easily shoot through each person, and you can see death stairs in case people are pushing from A. That corner back there is another area that people like to cap from. But overall, just try to remember that the entire platform right here is the burn area or the cap radius, however you want to call it. And you can exploit the corners or spawns as you see fit, depending on where you're coming from. So right now we're going to have a few instances of me spawning in, showcasing the spawn points and the two rules, two main rules that, are, that govern most of the spawns in Conquest. The fact that you will spawn closest to your deployment most of the time and that also most of the time you will spawn with your back to your deployment. Now that gets a little weird with some of the spawns in these corners, obviously you're not going to spawn facing a corner just to make sure that your back is facing your spawn, but you can notice that right now we're spawning as US, we're spawning on C, and we're going to spawn in one of the highest priority spawns on all of C flag, and that is going to be this back corner. You will spawn here very, very much very often much often same difference there seems to be on top of the rules that govern the spawns on top of spawning closest to your deployment and with your back to your deployment there seems to be a priority system where there are certain there's a certain order of spawns on certain flags C being one of them because there's there's the spawns are so spread out across the different elevations and areas that back corner is a high priority spawn. You would tend to spawn there very often. So we go to another clip real quick. Spawning again. Spawning as US once again. And we spawn in the garage area. In that back corner garage, you see that we have A and we have our deployment. So we're spawning with our back towards our deployment on the side of C flag, closest to our deployment. And that follows both of those rules. Very simple, very easy from here. You can push out down into death stairs or into the lobby. I don't like to push down into death stairs because it's you know, death stairs. Not not really cool. So right now we're going to spawn again as US deployment. And we're going to spawn on C. You see we have A, D, and C. And we spawn in the corner again. This just goes to show we have people on the flag. It's not being captured. But that corner spawn is a high priority spawn. Be mindful of that when spawning in on C in a pinch especially if you're US and they're pushing from Russian deployment through those arches just like you saw. Right here we're going to be actually assaulting C. I'm going to show you how coming up death stairs can be beneficial. Sometimes it's very bad. You see they spawn inside the house. That is one thing to watch. If you come up on the flag that is being is already occupied and you don't see people, remember that there are spawns inside of that house. Be mindful of that. I'm going to pull into this corner back here because there are no spawns in this corner and I can watch the corner spawn, the garage, and death stairs all at once. I can pretty much watch three spawn points and the other ones are above me. They don't actually, you know, people don't tend to look at that corner as soon as they spawn so they actually jump out the window in front of you and can easily take them out. If you're assaulting C through the lobby, be sure to check those windows in the, in the second story that I just did. And you can see we're going to push in again. I'm right on the edge of the cap radius right here. 
sliding in out of it. My teammates are capping with me. I'm watching death stairs. There are also a few spawns, I forgot to mention, down those stairs that I came up from. Those are not so heavily used. And once again, pulling back into the corner, putting myself at a good position to see all the spawns and not get shot at. Guys, this is going to wrap up episode six. Yeah, six of understanding spawns. Send crossing, C flag, working on D flag. That'll be out very shortly. Sorry for the delay on everything. Thank you for watching. Please comment and let me know what you thought. And you guys have a good night. Cheers.